everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today we have a unboxing. Um, this is an item that I've been trying to get for a while, ever since I found out about this item. When I found out about this item, I kept trying to buy it and it kept selling out. Um, <clears throat> finally I just stalked the website one night, actually a few nights ago, and um, it was available. So I bought it and got it shipped to me. Now, what I noticed is I didn't get charged for shipping. If you look here, it says um, standard overnight. So I didn't even pay for overnight shipping. So I just ordered it. They processed the order and then I got it. So let's open it and see what it is. Hopefully you guys can see that my camera is, um, it's not focusing. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the light that I have here. Let me see. Hold on a second. Okay. So I had to change it. <clears throat> I had to change it because it wasn't, fo it wasn't on autofocus. So here you go. That's what the envelope looks like. And there's nothing on the other side. It's just plain. And then here's the authenticity card. It should be focusing now. This is an online order, so I didn't go inside to, to get it. And then in here, I believe, is just your receipt. <clears throat> of course, you know, when you buy stuff from Cartier, you do get a shopping bag. Of course, it's all dusty because of all the stuff that's inside. So if you don't have a Cartier store near you and you want to buy something or maybe you're getting it as a gift for someone, um, you will have a bag. So it's a nice, you know, adds to the presentation or if you just want it for yourself. Okay, and this is what it looks like inside. So it's just an empty box. This box just says Cartier. So we'll look at the way the box looks all the way around. It's magnetic. So let me see if I can show you guys this. You can see, I don't know if this is, oh, here it goes right here. The magnetic closure. So I guess if you're into that, you can keep the box and use it for something else, right? <clears throat> okay, so inside, I'm going to put the trash inside of here. And this is typical um, stuff, the stuffing that comes inside your Cartier packages when you get them. Um, normally, I don't have them gift wrap my stuff. Um, I don't know, because I just, a lot of the times I feel like it's unnecessary. Unless I just want the presentation for, um, you know, for the channel. So here it is. And the classic um, Cartier packaging. Again, I ordered this online. And I did select um, quick shipping as well as um, gift packaging. Okay. So we'll open it up. Let's 
And here we go. So you might be able to tell by what kind of box it is, what it is. And let's see what it's going to look like when I open it. No, 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 no. So again, like I was saying at the beginning, this is a um, standard item. Um, and what I mean by that, for me, this is an item that, um, it's a necklace, first of all. So yes, I'll be able to wear it by itself. But I also will be able to wear it with pendants on it. And whether I have a pendant on it or not, I'll be able to wear it, um, like I said, by itself with nothing else on my neck or layer it with other pieces. I saw this necklace. And the reason why I say I didn't know this existed is because this is just a standalone chain. I believe it's a 17 inch, just 18 karat gold. It's a curb, um, curb link chain, even though it's so small that you really can't see like what type of chain it is. <clears throat> but the details and what I like about this chain, and I'm not a hundred percent if it's, if it's um, 17 inches or not because the measurements aren't on the website. But, um, and then there you go. You can see that little piece there. I'll have to cut that off. Um, but what I like about this chain <clears throat> and why I wanted it so much um, was because it's adjustable. So you have the little Cartier logo that dangles at the bottom, just like you do with some of their other bracelets and necklaces, just like here on um, the Diamore. Of course, the one on the Diamore is a lot, a lot larger compared to this one. You can see how small that is. But that's not why I bought it. It's a cute little detail, but really I bought it because um, it's a standard everyday chain. But with this ball here, you can adjust it and make it longer or shorter. So <clears throat> I believe all you have to do is just hold the ball. Actually, I don't know how to do it. I believe you hold the ball and then you just um, slide it, slide the ball through the, slide the chain through the ball. And yeah. So let me see if I can um, figure it out. Sometimes I'll be wearing this with pendants and sometimes I'll be wearing it without a pendant. Um, but I love the versatility, how you can um, adjust it. So I don't know how you adjust it. It feels pretty secure, but I know you're supposed to pull the ball through the chain. I don't know if there's like a, a specific way to do it, but you can adjust if you want it to be like a little choker, if you want it to be, you know, at its longest setting. Like I said, I don't know the measurements. I'll have to find out and put it on the screen. So yeah, with all the um, Cartier pieces I have and with the things that I saw um, here and there as I go into the store. Um, this one, I, I didn't even know this little chain existed, but it's a, it's a cute piece. Like I said, to stand alone, it's a cute piece, piece to layer with other, uh, pieces as well as, um, adjust it depending on the drop of your other necklaces or, you know, the drop of your neckline. You may be wearing a crew neck top and you might want the, the necklace to sit up a little higher on your neck, or you might want it to be on the longest setting. So it's a versatile piece that's kind of like... A chain like this, I would consider it like a white t-shirt. You know, it's like a standard, like a staple. Um, I bought a chain from Tiffany & Co. several years ago that I thought was going to be like a staple, but it wasn't adjustable. And it turns out I didn't really like the fact that the Tiffany's chain didn't have a high shine to it. So I still have it, and I wear it sometimes. If you watch my videos, you've, you've seen me wear my Tiffany necklace before, the gold one. Um... But yeah, this is basically going to replace that. And like I said, I'll be able to wear it on different lengths as well as um, wear it with or without a pendant and adjust it depending on my neckline or depending on how I'm layering it with other necklaces. If you see, I don't know how close up I can get. It is a curb link, but it's to me, I call it a micro mini curb link, even though that's not <laughs> what it's called. It's just called chain on the website. But if I try to get close, you could kind of see the way it looks. 
So it's different from the chain on uh, my Dia Moore necklace. In fact, I think this chain is a little more substantial, even though it is a, um, you know, it's a, it's a fairly thin chain. But it's going to be perfect for me in the way I plan on wearing it. Wearing it. So if you um, are interested in this product, I'll try to put the information on the screen for it. Um, you can wear it either way, just like the Dia Moore necklace. If you want this little thing dangling in the front to create that Y style design, you can. Or just keep this in the back. The shorter you wear it, the longer this thing is going to dangle down the back or down the front, depending on how you wear it. Now, you know, when you buy stuff from Cartier um, in the store, you get things like a travel pouch and a cleaning kit. As you can see with this unboxing, I just only got what the item typically comes with. I mean, you get the regular packaging, a bag, your receipt, and your authenticity card. Like, that's it. So you don't get a travel pouch, you don't get a cleaning kit, um, no chocolates, champagne, nothing. It's just the standard basic stuff. So there's a benefit to buying in-store. I will say that I call the local... Um, Cartier uh, boutiques by me. You guys know I go to the one in San Francisco as well as Palo Alto and um, we call both of them and um, they didn't have them in stock. In fact, they said we can order it for you but it, it could take a few weeks and um, you have to put a deposit down. That's interesting um, that they want you to put a deposit down, especially when you think of the price of this necklace. Like, you need a deposit. I mean, before tax, this necklace was only like $740. It was less than $800 even with taxing and with taxes, and they didn't charge me for shipping. Um, this bracelet here that I wear from Tiffany & Co., I went to my... First, I called. I bought this so many years ago. Um, this bracelet, I believe, now is $5,000 on the Tiffany & Co. website. Um, and you guys know I altered it, right, so that I could wear it like this and change it and wear it different ways. Um, but when this was new, I think I bought it for like 3800 before tax. But when I look at the website now, I want to say it's 5000 or so. But I'm saying all that to say, when I um, called my local Tiffany store and they didn't have it, they said that they'll order it for me. And I can they'll call me when it's ready, to uh, when it comes in. I didn't have to put a deposit or anything. They just called me, said the item is in. I can come take a look at it. There's no obligation. And, of course, I bought it. But it's just weird that Tiffany didn't do that for this. In this bracelet, this Rololink bracelet, um, costs way more than this necklace. So, yeah, just know that if... You are dealing with Cartier and it's something that you want them to order for you because they don't have it in the store. I don't know if they do this to every customer, um, but for me, um, they said they can order it, but it may take a few weeks and then it requires a deposit. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to do that for this $740 chain. I'll stock the website and order it that way. And I did. So um, this came to me probably three, two or three days after I bought it. I did the thing where... Um, you say notify me and um, every time I did notify me twice before but every time I went to every time I got the email say for example if it notified me at 1 and I check my email at 1 30 about time I go to the website it's already sold out and that happened twice so I did it again and said notify me when available and then one night I was scrolling the um, Cartier website it's probably like 1 a.m. And I was looking on the Cartier website, like, let me check and see if that item is available. And it was. So when I put it in my basket and I checked out, even though I went through the checkout process, I wasn't for sure if I actually got it because it just kept selling out quickly. But then when it said my item shipped, then I was like, okay, wow. Like, not only did they um, have it available for me to purchase, but they didn't charge me for expedited shipping and I got it pretty quick. That was much better than trying to get it through the um, Cartier Boutique. The only difference is I probably would have had a few extras, cleaning kit, a travel pouch. I really don't need an extra travel pouch or extra cl cleaning kit. Um, but again, those are some of the things that you get when you do go into the Cartier Boutique if they have it available. Um, and then chocolates, but I mean, come on, let's be real. We, I don't need no more candy. I'm like 30 pounds overweight, so... Yeah, but that's it. That's the story behind the unboxing. So in the future, you guys will see this on my neck. I plan on layering it with my Dia Moore necklace or 
you know, Van Cleef and Arpel or whatever. Um, so we'll see. Other than that, I'm happy with the purchase. I'm going to have to play around with it um, so I can figure out the, you know, how to adjust the ball on it. Okay, so I'll insert this here. I figured out how to adjust it. And literally all you do is you have to apply some pressure, not to the ball itself, but to the chain. So it moves through like this. Essentially, that's how you do it. So you see that? So if you wanted it to be a choker, and maybe you want this part to dangle down the front or down the back, that'll be cute depending on the, um, what type of um, top you're wearing. Right? So yeah, I just want to pop in here and um, show how you adjust it because I, don't, I didn't want to pull it hard because I was afraid that I was going to break the chain, but that's literally how you adjust it. You have to... Um, yeah, you have to, I guess it's just something you just have to get used to doing. And it's supposed to be firm because, you know, when you wear it, you don't want um, it to just move by itself. And so, yeah, I just want to add that in here. So other than that, I hope you guys liked the video. That's it. That's all. Bye.